point is me when when whenever i drop a new project i, I get inundated with the y'all are doing vinyl right so but you have to understand i'm looking at this number it's up 32 percent, 416 million dollars a ton of money it's almost half a billion dollars but how much money of this 416 million was used to make the vinyl right like what does it cost to press vinyl that's i mean it's a first off the more of a collector you are, the more ill you want the layout to be. You want double vinyl, so to double your money there. You want gatefold, double your money there. And then you want colored vinyl. Colored vinyl. You know, swirls, things like that. Um, I love vinyl. I know that it's not the most popular medium right now, but to me, it's almost like a portal back in time. Because I think it's really cool. It's a way to listen to music and at the same time you can buy it and it's something that would be really cool to hang on the wall and it has this sound to it that I really like like the pops and the crackles of the needle running over it just add to a certain vibe ever since like it's ever since I listen to music uh, there's always been vinyl in my house I guess my dad had a uh, like a portable not necessarily portable but you know a smaller like a briefcase could open the top and uh, you put little 45s on it. So I always had that growing up and uh, eventually I got one of my own. And then from that, I just kind of started building my collection. So I guess uh, it's just pretty much always been there. And uh, it's just been really fascinating to me how it works. While vinyl at one point was the standard for record sales, it has now become a novelty. While not printed in quantity as before, it still has a process that takes time and has its limitations and own ways that you must work around. Uh, vinyl has certain uh, pressing limitations that don't exist in digital. Because of the way that vinyl works, where you have a mechanical needle in the groove, either moving back and forth or up and down for the left and right channels, um, if there's really loud bass notes in vinyl, it can literally shoot the needle out of the grooves. And so when they're mastering for vinyl, they have to take all of the low frequency information, even if you like, you know, are doing a speed metal record and you decide to be really creative and pan the kick drums, right? That would definitely flick your needle out of the grooves. And so they mono everything below a certain frequency going to the vinyl. Do you work or mix differently if you know it's going to vinyl? Not really, but when it gets to the mastering process, if the mastering engineer knows it's going to vinyl, there's certain things that they have to do to make sure that it will actually even be playable on vinyl. To this day, people still debate whether analog or digital sounds better. Each has their own pros and cons, whether that be replay value or convenience, but vinyl has stayed the test of time. But why do new people constantly find their way towards vinyl and physical print? It just stems where it comes from. Like for me, I just grew up with it and it went hand in hand with listening to music. It's more, uh, for me, it's definitely more about listening. It's like the whole experience, you know, uh, it's something to hold. It's like you open it up, you read the inside, you get to see who made the album and everything that went into it. So, I mean, it just depends um, what appreciation you have for music production as a, as a whole. I feel like it's more personal, like there's more soul to a vinyl, you know, you, anyone can export something to, you know, from Pro Tools and have it mastered and drop it, and they might put a lot of, you know, heart and soul into it, but, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's, it's still ones and zeros. I definitely think CDs are going to be phased out, but I think vinyls are going to stay because they are collectible to some people. They do have a certain sound for others, and as long as people want them. Uh, I think, well, uh, I think CDs will be phased out um, just because, you know, I mean, what do you guys carry music on, right? Something solid state and digital. It's on your phone. It's on your USB stick. It's on something small that has a huge capacity. So you're not going to carry CDs around anymore. Um, and especially, you know, on those sticks and those hard drives that you carry, you can have full CD quality WAV files. In fact, you can have better. You can have, you know, 88.2 sample rates, double the sample rate and higher bit depths, right? So you can have a much higher quality file playing off your USB stick than you can even off a CD. Uh, the downside is, you know, the reason people think digital sounds crappy is because what most people listen to on digital is MP3, which is a dramatically data compressed format, and it really doesn't sound as good. Again, if you take a CD and then you go and you, you know, pay for an MP3 download and you play them back and forth one second after each other, you will be like, oh, the MP3 sounds fine, and then you'll hear the 
the CD and go, oh, or the MP3 doesn't sound fine. You know, if you don't hear anything next to it, your initial impression would be that it sounds good, but it, it really doesn't compare to a CD. So I think the high quality files are where everything is going to go. As far as the delivery medium goes, right now, solid state and download seems to be where it's at. I think CDs are being phased out. The computers don't even include them anymore. And vinyl, you know, there'll always be a few diehards, but I, I just kind of feel like it's in Indian summer of vinyl. You know what I mean? It's like the hip thing to have right now. People are like, oh, this sounds so good and it's cool. But in the end, it's the reason that MP3 gained dominance. Everybody's about convenience. Industry has been moving digital for years. The independent markets still see revenue for physical print and its resurgence, whether that be vintage record stores or fans who want something physical and collectible. But for how long? 